Hi, everyone. Today, we will embark on a historical and cultural city walk. We'll start from a former military camp from the Yuan Dynasty, pass through the highest academic institution of ancient China, and finally arrive at the residence where Emperor Yongzheng and Emperor Qianlong lived before their succession to the throne. Ready? Let's go! Walking through Wu Dao in Hutong feels like stepping into a work of art where the ancient and modern intertwine. It began as an earthen city wall running east to west during the late Yuan dynasty, evolved into a military camp, and finally grew into a neighborhood of dwellings. This 600-meter-long Hutong has been extensively restored into a hip cultural hub, complete with boutique shops, craftsman workshops, cafes, and eateries. Moving on, we arrive at Guozijian, often translated as the Imperial College, the highest academic institution of ancient China and the administering organ of education set up by the state during the three dynasties of Yuan, Ming, and Qing. Established in 1306, it is a remarkable architectural complex of over 100 buildings. Flanked by the revered Confucius Temple and the Yonghe Lama Temple, it served as the last imperial academy in China and the only well-preserved site of its kind. Our final stop is Yonghe Lama Temple, the largest and best-preserved lamasery in present-day China. Here, you can observe the worshippers' prayers and sense the tranquility they seek. It has been quite a culturally enriching trip for me to travel from Wu Dao in Hutong to Guozijian and then to Yonghe Lama Temple. Hopefully, it will do the same for you and help you appreciate Beijing's charm even more. Do you like this route? Don't forget to like, follow, and let me know your favorite places in the comments. Let's discover Beijing together.